Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we look at the final layout for business letter and that is the indented style letter. What do we know about this letter? In the indented style letter, the first line of each paragraph starts half inch, which is 0 0.5 inches from the left margin. There are some elements that are centered and some that are left aligned on the page. We're going to start off by looking at the elements that are centered on the page. We start off with the sender's address, otherwise known as the return address, and this is if a letterhead is not used. Now, I would have already spoken about the letterhead and it being standard for a company, not changing to suit any layout, right? So, if you have not seen that video, you can check it out. That would be in the block style or the semi-block style letter video then we will have the date and the date can also be right aligned so let me just say that now now the format of the date is month day year and this is similar to that of the semi-block style letter the difference and here i have an example the difference however is that it carries a full stop at the end so the example says february 14 comma 2021 if we were using the semi-block style, we would not have the full stop at the end. It should also be noted that the date is typed in the same line as the reference. And where there are two references, the date is typed in the same line as our ref. The subject heading is also centered. Then we will move to the body of the document where each line is indented for the various paragraphs. Following that, we'll get now to the complementary clause which should be centered, followed by the signature block. Now each line for the signature block starts from the midpoint of the page or if the name of the organization is long. Sometimes we have the name of the organization come in immediately after the complementary close. If that is a given situation and the name of the organization is long, then it should be 0 0.5 inches from the left of the midpoint or you can go over a bit more if necessary so that that name can hold. Then we will have the designation that also starts from the center of the page. Now we're going to look at some of the elements or the other elements now that will be left aligned on the page. And that's everything that was not centered before. That includes the references, the recipient's address, the salutation, the enclosures or attachments, the copy notation, and the postscript. It is also important for us to note that the indented style letter utilizes what is known as full punctuation, some would say standard punctuation, and some will call it mixed punctuation. Now what is this? This is the traditional method of punctuation where all the punctuation marks are inserted after abbreviations and in all parts of the document. Let me show you what that looks like. Here I have a bit of comparison of the methods of punctuation that are used in letters. I have the open punctuation that is used in the block style letter and I have the full punctuation that is used in the indented style letter. I did not place the closed punctuation that is used for semi-blocked letter here. All right? These are the most important ones. All right, the semi-blocked one will just um, take into consideration the comma. And you can look at that video if it is that you're interested to find out about that one. But for the open and the full punctuation, this is what it looks like. So I did a bit of comparison. So I looked at the date. So for the block style, it would be day, month, year. For the full punctuation in the indented style, it would be January 12, 2021, full stop. The inside name and address, Mr. Paul Simpson. Notice the same thing for the, the indented style letter, but where the different comes, difference comes in is where we have after Mr. Paul, there is a full stop in the indented style, and at the end of his um, surname, there is a comma. We have the address, 10 South Street, but for the indented style, comma. Kingston, but for the indented style, a full stop. Then we'll move to the subject heading. Attention, Mrs. K. Blake. Nothing for the block style. 
but for the full punctuation in the indented style we have attention colon mrs dot k blake the complementary clause we have yours faithfully versus yours faithfully comma in the indented style then i did i went a bit further and i added numbering now the numbering is important right um so for the block style when we are doing numbering and this can be within the document i will need to bear it in mind even if you're doing a table all right it's important to note if you're doing the block versus the indented style all right so we have numbering so i have here it costs forty two thousand five hundred dollars but what took place or what should take place with the block style is that we put a space all right and then for the indented style we put a comma and finally we, i have for the abbreviation um b b s c right bachelors of science then for the indented style b dot s c all right so that is the difference between the two full punctuation versus open punctuation now i'm going to quickly look at the continuation page for the indented style letter the guidelines for preparing continu continuation pages we need to ensure that the continuation page consists or contains at least two lines of text in addition to the complementary clause and signature block we should also ensure that the first sheet of paper is not numbered now i have two examples of the continuation page for the indented style letter this is the first one we have page number double space name of the addressee to the left and the date to the right in the same line then we have a triple space and then we type the rest of the document and here is what it looks like all right we have page two mr dot ian white and in the same line to the right we have the date february 10 comma 2021 full stop Below that, we will have the rest of the document, a triple space, then the rest of the document, and the paragraph being indented, and we continue typing. The second example changes the page numbering a bit. It is now in the line, or in the same line, as the name of the addressee and the date. So it's now in the center. Before it was uh, at the top, double space, then this information now is in the same line as everything. So I have Miss Joan Daly to the left in the center, page two, and to the right, the date, January 4, 2021. Then a triple space and the rest of the document, and my paragraph is indented. We'll now move over to Microsoft Word, where I'll show you two examples of the indented style layout. All right, so... Here we are in Microsoft Word with the first example. I would have already spoken about letterheads and how we would construct our letterheads. So I'm just going to get into the rest of the letter. So I have my date here, and this is at 0. Um, 0, 0.3.5 inches, right? From the so I call this the center. It is January 22, comma 2020, full stop. Then I have the inside name and address, Mrs. Dot Linda Roberts, comma for everything except the last information that is placed there. I have Barbados, full stop. Following that, I have the salutation, Mrs. Dot Roberts, and I have a colon. And then I would have the subject heading, critical illness, and this is in initial caps and on the line and it is in the center, I have a double space, then I have my paragraphs. Each paragraph is indented at 0 0.5 inches. Then I would have my inset in single line spacing, which is also indented at 0 0.5 inches. I would have spoken about insets. If you have not seen that video, you can watch it. I stated the difference between an inset and an enumeration. Then I would have in the body of the letter, I have a date here, May 1st, comma, 2021. Please note that the, if you are typing and in the body of the letter you have dates or figures, they 
do go with the format that you're using so you can't if you're doing the block style have the date at the top of the letter in block style but in the body you have it in the semi blocked or the indented style All right and that is the rest of the letter going down on my second page i have in the header mrs linda roberts mrs dot linda roberts two for my page two and january 22nd comma 2020 i have a triple space then I continue with the rest of the letter where I have my paragraph and then I have my complementary close and my signature block. All right. So in my, for my complementary close, yours sincerely comma. And then I have Pamela Chang, Mrs. Dot. And then I have customer service manager. Then I conclude that with my enclosure. We will now look at the second example. All right. So here we are with the second example. A bit similar to the one a while ago, but a few additions. I know added the a reference. All right, so I know I added a reference to this in the same line as the date, and place the date to the right of the document, and I added the word confidential. All right, um, everything else will be the same, but please note the punctuations that are a part of it. Remember that the indented style letter utilizes full punctuation. So we're using our commas, we're using our full stops, etc. All right, um, going down on the page, I have critical illness. This time I change it around to all capitals. And then going down, I now have enumeration, right? And that is there in double line spacing. Again, I have a video on that. I will link it above and you can watch it to get a better understanding. Continuing, remember the date will also be in the indented style format, May 1st, 2021. And this should have a comma. This should have a comma here. So let me put that in. May 1st, 2021. All right, I'm going down on the page, and here I have the continuation page in the second format that was shown earlier, where I have the page, the num page two at the top, a double space, and then the person's information, Mrs. Linda Roberts, and in the same line, the date, January twenty second, comma twenty twenty, full stop. I have a triple space, and then the rest of the letter, and my paragraphs are blocked. All right, this should be a double space. Let's strip it. All right, there it is. All right, yours sincerely, comma, Pamela Chang. And I would have explained this part a while ago. And that is it. All right, so two examples of the indented style letter. And then you type according to the layout that is given for your exam. Or if you're a teacher, you can use um, both to teach your students. I do hope you learned something from this video. do hope you found it interesting. And if you did, please, I'm asking you to like, to share, and to subscribe, and to leave a comment to let me know what you thought about the video, or ask any questions, or make suggestions of other videos that I can do to assist you at this time in your syllabus. Thanks for watching, and see you in my next upload.